everybody video here for you today now before I start on today's topic I just want to say I'm going to be making a longer video maybe upload that on the weekend maybe as much as an hour long I'm going to be going over some things that have been sent in to me by my viewers a lot of questions I'm going to spend about 10 or 15 minutes answering viewer questions so if you have a question leave it in the comments section below for that video maybe have that up by Saturday or Sunday I've already done maybe 15 minutes of it already and I know a lot of things that I'm going to be talking about but today's topic a lot of my videos lately have been on underwater sites underwater findings well today is no different there's been some work done here between Galveston and Port Arthur out in the Gulf of Mexico here let's just read what they found out here this story came out a couple weeks ago but I just found it today prehistoric mystery emerges off Texas after wood found buried 20 feet below the seafloor it says a NOAA and that's National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration expedition in the Gulf of Mexico has been searching the seafloor off Texas taking core samples in valleys buried 10,000 years ago this photo is from the Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary 70 miles off Texas and Louisiana it says here in a tale reminiscent of a Jules Verne novel scientists have found evidence suggesting people once lived in an area that is now buried 20 feet below the Gulf of Mexico. Here is a post by the Oceanic Administration. It says the discovery comes after wood turned up in core samples taken nine miles off of Port Arthur, Texas. That depth means the land was above water some 10,400 years ago, said Dr. Amanda Evans, who led the expedition. It's a discovery that can make for a stunning revelations, particularly if it's determined the wood was part of a tool or some other human made object. The brass ring is defined projectile points or stone tools, things that are indisputable proof of human activity, things made by humans. It says they didn't expect to find wood because they are collecting three inch diameter core samples. And that's what you see here. Some are a lot of clay in them. It says the wood, which retained its medium brown color, is one of several artifacts. The June expedition found stuck in 40 core samples that went as deep as 30 feet into the floor of the Gulf of Mexico. I would imagine it's real hard to do good archaeology under a seafloor that has been churned up by thousands of years of hurricanes and storms. It says the 40 core samples were taken between Port Arthur and Galveston covering an area of seafloor that was between 9 and 43 miles from the coast. Also on this website, they have a video that shows the dead zone down in the Gulf of Mexico here that is being created by all the nutrients and fertilizer washing into the rivers and going into the Gulf of Mexico. Kind of a sobering video to watch. This is called the hypoxia zone or dead zone, zone in the ocean. That has such low oxygen levels that animal life cannot survive. Here is a boat that did the core sampling out here. They are looking for signs of human activity. It says it will take months to fully explore the core samples. In the process, scientists will rake through the sediment on a microscopic level, looking for pollen, lipids, and proteins. In doing so, they'll identify plants, trees, and animals. Archaeologists call the people who roamed these ancient shorelines Paleo Indians. This project is starting from a handful of puzzle pieces that tell us that people were living along the northwestern Gulf of Mexico and coastal Texas and Louisiana areas as early as 13,000 years ago. The shoreline, bays, and estuaries where people would have fished or collected food are now underwater. Sea level rise caused by the melting of the glaciers at the end of the last glacial period drowned the land that these people lived on thousands of years ago. Evan said that the expedition will give researchers a better understanding of co coastal population density in that era and how populations life changed due to rising sea levels. I've had so many comments over the years saying underwater archaeology should be done and it seems that's where we are getting a lot of our answers to this truly mystifying Younger Dryas period. That is a study done off of Louisiana and Texas here. Pretty interesting story. If you have any questions for my Q&A session in my longer video coming this weekend, please leave it in the comment section below. Hope you thought that was cool and you all have a very nice day.